So here's the final part. We've got all our files after a headache of turn of events. And we're going to now open up this main stage file and then import our tracks into it. So you'll see immediately stuff from last week once it opens. And we'll need to clean it up, clean it out. Same process we do every single week. Delete. 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 I'll save. File. Concert. Clean up. And then it'll send all of the stuff into here. Empty this out. Uh, skip. Stop. Uh, I'll save. Quit out of here. Well, I'll just close. I didn't quit. Just close that file. Then I should be able to empty this. Not really. So I've got to quit out of there. Then I can empty. There you go. Open this back up. Grab this blank template and um, actually let me just say that I'm going to set this up first for Sunday and then I'm going to show you how you create a separate because we have to use a separate um, file thing for our rehearsal because we use a MIDI keyboard to trigger we use main stage to actually create the sounds for our piano player at our practices so this is just for Sunday just want to make that clear so I'll take this again you've seen this before duplicate this three times move this to the worship set change the name of the songs touch the sky Jesus we love you Oh, uh, actually, it's worthy, worthy. Jesus, we love you. I'm going to hit Apple 7. Oh, no, Command 7. I am so from <laughs> back in the days when it used to be Apple, not Command or whatever. So, touch the sky. We're going to go to Attributes. This has a uh, 90.5. So, you'll have to go here. Touch the sky, and then type in 90.5. Um, 70 is worthy. And then Jesus, we love you, remember, is in 6.4, and it's 116. And then we'll hit save, and then we'll begin dragging our files over. Main stage. We start with touch the sky. Um, I'm going to hit command 7, close it out, and I'll be able to bring these in. I'll fast forward. Um, wait, I put it on Jesus, we love you. It needs to be on touch the sky. Now, I'll drag it in. So touch the sky is done. I'll do it with worthy, worthy, and Jesus, we love you. And I'll just fast forward through it since it literally is the same thing.
two, verse two, three, four. Okay, I think I have all of the files imported. Once I've imported it, I hit save, and now it is saved. So what I'm gonna do is just check to see how things go. So let's start from the top One, here. One, two, verse, two, three, four. Let's go to the end. End, two, three, four. Um, oh, I know why we didn't hear it, because I had the prep audio for, that was turned on. So let me just do that again, try to start. Verse two, three, four, and two, three, four. I did not realize I still had that click on there. So I'm going to have to go back here, open up, open recent, touch the sky. Ugh, so annoying. What a day. Here you go. Um, and two, three, four. Okay. Good. So let me just re-export this let me see it's clarity let me see the song it's the sky okay so here it is I'm going to put that in here. Save. Let's listen to that. Chorus two, three, four, and two, three, four. Intro, two, three, four. End, two, three, four. Intro, two, three, four, five, six. again um, I wonder if it's because let me see here let's try this 
Because when I go into the files last week when I looked at it, it see how this says 4, 4 meter? And I know that doesn't make sense, but let's just see what happens. I'll return to start, hit play. Intro. Two, three, four, five, six. That's not quite how I want it to go. Um, what if I did three, four? Or what if I did, yeah, three, four? Let's see how that goes. Intro two, three, four, five, six. Verse two, three, four, five, six. Bridge, all in. Chorus, two, three, four, five, six. Chorus, two, three, four, five, six. I don't like how it does that. Um, but it still works. Most we don't really use the function where we go. Um, let me do the four four thing. Let me just see how this works. Because what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to allow six beats, and when you when you change it, it'll it'll allow the the oh maybe this is defer. What's defer patch change? Let me see. Here we go. I'm trying this again. Intro two three. Four, five, six. First, two, three, four, five, six. Verse two, three, four, five, six. Bridge two, three, four, five, six. Chorus two, three, four, five, six. See, it just doesn't doesn't work there. Let me try. Try six four. Let me see if, if the defer patch thing will work. Intro two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. And if I switch in the middle of a six count, it should not start until the next count. Four, five, six, four, three, two, three, four, five, six. I just don't like so that actually works, but it's supposed to carry through when the marker changes, and I do not know why. Um it does that. Well, I'd rather have it one. time right. One. So two. Verse, that's it. Two. Three. Everything sounds good. So now that we're done, we're just gonna go concert, clean up. Okay. Save. Concert. Consolidate. Okay. Save. Now we want to set this up for tracks at rehearsal. Now that we're done with tracks for Sunday, in order to set this up for rehearsal, especially when we're using a keyboard with this actual main stage file as the base for a MIDI keyboard, uh, in our rehearsal space we have a smaller portable keyboard that we use that uh, the sound comes from within main stage. So what we do is first is take this and we'll save as and then we'll do rehearsal worship tracks on the desktop. And this is the easiest way that I found to do this instead of setting it up. Like you could have the rehearsal worship tracks from last week and then just import everything again, but you literally have to drag everything over again. So if you do all the work with just the rehearsal tracks, it's easier just to duplicate the file and then all you have to do is this watch this you just go to this file folder here and then you're gonna add a new instrument main outboard create and yes we want it at the strip level 
And what it does is it creates it. So now One, it's on all of the tracks two. here. If you look, see it's in here. And that's what we want. We just want it on everything. And then we're going to want to, um, the instrument we use, and you can use whatever you want, but what we use is the ES24 uh, sampler. And then we use uh, pianos. I think we use the Steinway Grand 2. And then we usually bump that volume up all the way for rehearsal. And then now, um, whenever you're playing, it it uh, it's in all the tracks. Let me see if I can uh, get this keyboard hooked up. This keyboard hooked up, and then we'll try in here what this piano sounds. Great. <laughs> so I'm triggering this stuff from Logic. We'll just quit out of here real quick. Save. Now. The other thing we have to do is to make sure that we change the layout because right now, here's here's middle C, and then if I was to play C sharp while in this song, it starts it and stops it. So I can't really show it to you via this thing, but we use a keyboard on Sunday to trigger our pad. So what we need to end up doing is I usually go here to our layout, click here, and then I, I go on the keyboard, and again, you can't see it, but I go to the lowest key possible, and I just, you go to auto assign here, and I'll just go like this. I just hit CO, which you can, if you wanted to, uh, I guess you could just go like this too, C minus two, you can go C minus two, and that's another way to do it too, as well. So I'll just do this to all the pads here. Hello? Hey, Matt. I I think I did. I, uh, I'll have to pull it up and take a look at it. I'm working on a project right now, but uh, I, have, I have a couple other uh, vendors that they're all sending it in, so we're just taking a look at it and seeing, seeing which one we think we like, and then also... Uh, you know, shopping the prices and figuring out which one uh, will work best for us. But thank you for calling. And uh, where are you calling from again? I'm sorry, I'm just for my records. Custom lapel pins. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and your name is Matt? Okay, where are you guys located, by the way? Okay, so you're out of Florida. Okay, great. That's great to know. Hey, thanks, Matt. Uh, well, I'll be I'll most likely be in contact with you soon then. Oh, promotional stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Definitely. Uh, we are a professional women's soccer team in Kansas City. We just went on a new ownership, so most of the staff is most of the staff is new. Uh, no, they're not. They're they're. I think they're the the league under, but so we're the but we're the we're like the MLS version of we're the women's MLS version. So so um, yeah. But hey, thanks. Yeah, my uh, I'm actually behind. I'm supposed to send um, a price comparison. I was, I was going to send a, a recommended vendor with two other vendors to uh, my boss, and then they were going to take a look at my report, and then they'll sign off on it. And and then that was supposed to be yesterday. So I'm going to try to do that today. Most 
you know what? I think I think you could probably give me a contact uh, touch base on like on Thursday because tomorrow they should get back to me on whether or not. And then once I get word, uh, really it's pushing the uh, you know approving the print and then processing payment with you. So if you know once things get approved, so so give me give me a jingle on Thursday. I don't think well it shouldn't be that long. So I just have to. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye bye. Okay, where was I? Okay, so once we've assigned all these, now that we've assigned them all to a, a key that isn't something that would intelligibly be played regularly on a piano, we can go back here to perform and we'll play this song. One. There you go. We're ready to go for rehearsal. And we'll just hit save. And that's that. Thanks for joining us. This is Phil Santel on the Game of the Clarity Church.